Hey guys, welcome to Fly Paintball. Paintball on the fly. Hey guys, welcome to Fly Paintball. This is Michael and today I'll be doing a review on the Invert Mini. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying a few things. Um, it's quite a unique gun. It's a small gun. It's under two pounds in weight without the tank and the hopper on it. Um, it has a gas through grip which eliminates all the macro line needs. Uh, pretty much the gas goes through the ASA slash regulator right here and goes up a tube uh, within the grip and into the gun that supplies the air to shoot the paintball. Um, it's an inline poppet valve gun which uh, is great because you have the air efficiency of a poppet valve gun but the smoothness and quietness of a spool valve gun so that's really good. Um, and it also has the unique ASA that's also uh, the gun's regulator which is kind of cool. Um, the gun came in this box right here. It's a cardboard box uh, but it's a pretty good cardboard box at that. Uh, you open it up and it has its first line of padding. This is the gun casing and then it comes with the slot for a barrel plug, um, the 12 inch barrel that it came with. It has uh, a mini manual and a toolbox. Uh, the manual is pretty unique. Um, it's small. It has a lot of words and very few pictures, uh, but it is a good manual. If you're good at following directions, you won't have a problem with that. The toolbox is pretty cool. It comes with uh, all the Allen keys you can need, O-rings, extra screws, extra ball detents, and a dog tag mini emblem. I don't know why you'd ever wear that, but I guess it's kind of cool to have. Um, and it comes with uh, lube for the gun too. Uh, let's talk about the gun a little bit. Um, it came with a clamping feed neck, which is great. Uh, it's always good to have a clamping feed neck on guns. It has no macro lines, um, which is good because it eliminates the problem of air leaks that you could have in the gun. Um, the 12 inch barrel that it came with um, is pretty decent. I've played with it a few times. Um, there's no real need to upgrade it unless you want a 14 inch barrel. Um, it has an optic board, which is the board that's in charge of the eyes and the trigger firing sequence and it also has the programming board or the functional board which is in charge of your um, settings that you want to shoot at semi, ramping, PSB, all of the above so um, that's kinda cool it also has a three point adjustable trigger uh, this isn't the stock trigger but the stock trigger also has the three point adjustable trigger uh, and that's pretty unique it, it helps fine tune your trigger pull uh, now I'm going to talk about a few pros and cons about the gun um, obviously Pros first, it's a small, light, fast gun. The stock board shoots about 20 balls a second, which is cool. Uh, not a lot of guns come stock with that uh, capability, so that's nice. Um, it's a new gun too. Invert came out with this gun, I think, two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And it's it's kind of a new idea having all the electronics in the foregrip of the gun. Um, that I don't think there's any other gun out there that does that right now. Um, it's good for playing in tight. A lot of front players like to use this gun because it forces you to hold it in a different way. Um, you know, your foregrip so close to the main trigger that you have to hold it in a certain way to where you keep your elbows in and, and play tight to the bunker. So it gives you a little advantage, um, helps you not think too much when you're playing um, to give you good cover. Um, it's really easy to take apart. Uh, as long as you can follow directions, you won't have a problem taking this thing apart. Uh, it, it's really simple in that manner. It's also easy to maintain. Uh, I come back from the field after playing with this thing, strip it down, lube it up, get some alcohol and um, some Q-tips and swap out all the dust and it's really really easy to maintain and clean. So it's good if you're a younger player trying to uh, learn the mechanics of a gun. This is a really good gun to have for that. It's also quiet. You always want to have a quiet gun when playing paintball. Um, you can go and play off the break and shoot across the field and you can't really hear this gun which is always nice uh, to have in a paintball gun. Uh, a few cons about this thing, it's difficult to tune. Online you'll find that there's tuning guides um, and you'll see that you can either have a gun that's easy on paint or it's gas efficient. I chose to do gas efficient because I have a smaller tank but it'd be nice to have a gun that can do both. Um, if you're an invert mini owner you know how frustrating it, frustrating it can be uh, to pick one or the other. Uh, it also has an overabundance of aftermarket parts. Um, I've had people tell me that 
you know, you need to upgrade the trigger, the feed neck, the board, uh, the bolt, all those things. I've done all those things, and the only aftermarket part that I kept was the trigger because I didn't like the stock one. Um, all the stock parts that I have in here now work perfectly. There's no real need to upgrade them. Um, if you don't have the money, even if you do have the money, I'd save it on something else. Uh, tools for the clamping feed neck. This is something that bugged me. You have to have a tool to loosen the clamping feed neck um, and a spare Allen key to keep with you uh, in order to put your hopper on and off. Uh, I didn't like that because it's always an, an extra piece of equipment that's easy to lose on the field. So that's not the best thing to do. Uh, the trigger. This is probably my biggest complaint about the gun. The trigger, the stock one is very sloppy. There's a lot of side to side play. But even with an aftermarket trigger, this thing's still very hard to shoot consistently. Um, walking the trigger is hard uh, to do while running. It just, when you mess with your debounce and all that stuff, um, even when you get it to a setting where you, you think you can shoot consistently, um, I think it's because it has the optic board where the magnet comes away from the, uh, the board to initiate the firing sequence. It's just not very consistent um, if you own a mini. Um, you might have the same problem. It fires great on ramping, but um, it's not too good on semi, so I don't like that. I like to play semi, and that's probably why I don't like the trigger so much. Um, it's difficult to clean on site. If you break a ball in this uh, chamber, it's going to have a lot of paint gooped up on the eyes, and the only way to really clean the eyes is to take the board out, which is something you have to do by taking the trigger frame off. So um, that's a little bit of a hassle um, to do also. And the last con that I have is there's no on-off ASA on the gun. It just has the regulator um, and the ASA as one. Uh, I wish they had an on-off, but uh, they don't. Uh, hopefully they come out with one soon because that seems to be a big complaint um, for many owners, owners all over the place. Um, so final thoughts on this thing. I played with it. Um, I think it's hard to play with. It's hard to run and shoot on semi, um, and I like to do that. It's inconsistent shooting. Um, it's also picky with the tuning, which I don't like, and um, it had a lot of screw-ups when it came out. Um, there were a lot of problems with the poppets, and you had to return it and get new ones, all that stuff. But one good thing about the gun is it does come with a year warranty. Invert Mini uh, stands up to that. So um, make sure you register your guns when you get them. Other than that, it's not a bad gun for beginners or for backup guns. Um, I like it as just kind of a messing around gun. Uh, just to shoot in the backyard and, and stuff like that. But I, I don't like playing with it. Um, but I, I mean, I'm not, I don't regret buying it at all. So um, I hope that this was informative and helped you out. Uh, I do know a little bit about these guns. So if I didn't cover anything and you have any more questions, feel free to post or ask them. Uh, and we appreciate your feedback. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. Stay fly, and we'll see you next time.